Okay. Let's talk about our locks of the week. Okay. Ashton, you only had two last week, one and one. You Your win was Maryland minus seven against Michigan State. Easy yep. cover there. And then your loss was the Utah UCLA over 51. Didn't come close. And Not even close. Cam Rising didn't play. So, But you are nine and two on the year. So yep. sterling record for this season. My record is not nearly as good, but I did have a good week. Three and two. My wins are Ohio minus 12 against Bowling Green. They easily covered that. Maryland minus seven against Michigan State. Easily covered that. And North Carolina minus seven and a half against Pitt. Easily covered that. My losses, Oklahoma minus 14 and a half, which was key against Cincinnati. They win by 14. That's tough. That's tough. And Oregon State, I took on the road as two and a half point favorites against Washington State and was just on the wrong side there. Washington State was better. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm 12 and 14 on the season. All right, let's go into this week. What do you have on your board? Okay, so I have not a lot, and we're just going to have to kind of discuss this and, and yeah, roll through it. What do you think about Michigan? Michigan hasn't covered a spread all year. Michigan and Georgia, neither one have covered spreads. Michigan has not covered one. They are on the road in Lincoln, favored by 18. Hmm. You're thinking about taking Michigan in this game? C- correct. I, yes. I mean, I don't hate it. I <laughs> It might help you that there that it's a road game. <laughs> yeah. I I I'm not touching it personally, but I don't hate it for you. I got a 17 okay. and a half for you if you want it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Um, let me what okay, Oregon State minus three. I can actually get that at two and a half as well. Oregon State at two and a half. Yeah, that's against Utah, correct? Correct. Correct. Um, yeah, I, I don't hate that either. Um I was Interested, there was a few of those games that were like super low spreads that were tasty to me. Um, Right. I don't think I'm going to join you on that one, but are you taking that one for sure? Yes, I'm taking that one. Yeah, lock it up. All right, Oregon State, yes, two and a half is the number. Are you, any others on your board? No, you go. We'll, We'll talk. We'll talk. Talk it through. Okay, so. Last week, you saved me from taking USC and their five touchdown spread. Um, so I appreciate that. I'm just going to run all these by you, and you tell me what you think. I was looking at Florida plus three against Kentucky. <laughs> I, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Your, your favorite – I mean, yeah, you're, you're a dog on the road, but but Florida is probably a more talented football team than Kentucky. Like, like you can keep coming back to that, and Florida does seem like they've found a little bit of momentum. I, I don't hate it. Yeah, keep going. Would you have been shocked if Florida had been favored by three in this game? I felt like Florida should have been favored by three. I felt like the wrong team was favored here. Yeah. Yeah. Penn State minus 25 and a half against Northwestern. Northwestern come, came off a win against Minnesota. I I don't know that it matters. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I actually have. I'll, I'll I'll do agreement with you there. I'll I'll lock that one okay. up too. All yeah. Right. That that one popped off the board to me as well. Um, N- Northwestern's not good. It's okay to fade people like that. That is fine. Penn State's really good. Like I think, yeah, we saw Penn State be really good. Um, I have I have no problem with that. There's not much of a home field advantage. Um, in Evanston, Illinois, right. there's not going to be many Northwestern fans there. Probably more Penn State fans than Northwestern fans. I have a feeling this line would be several points higher if Northwestern had not come back. From right. a three touchdown deficit against Minnesota. So. Right. What do you think about Clemson minus six and a half against Syracuse? No, no. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm going to take it. Mm-mm. I think Clemson is clearly better than Syracuse. I know Syracuse is four. No, Clemson's a touchdown better. So give me yeah. that. I love the number right under the touchdown. Six and a half is great. Okay. Talk me out of Georgia favored by 14 and a half. Okay. So this one jumped off to me as well. That That's too low. And and sometimes lines are too low intentionally. And if you see a line that is so low, you almost want to be on that side of it. Um, so I I'm I'm kind of with you. Like I agree. I see the same thing. Georgia should be favored here by more, but it almost makes me think that we need like Auburn's the side here. Auburn mm. is probably the side to be betting. I'm not sure. That one has me spooked. So I'm just and plus it's Georgia. I'm emotionally connected. So yeah, I just kind of stay away from betting my own team. Um, 
But no, like I'm at the same place you were. Like the line's too low, clearly. But what does that mean? Like we don't actually know what that means. I I'm torn on it. Earlier today there was a 14 out there, which yeah, I think I would have snapped, snatched snapped that, that up. But yeah. That hook, man, that'll get you. It got me last week. I'll take it off the board. We're trying to win here. I just I'm not going to be surprised if Georgia wins that game by three or four touchdowns. And then one final one. I just can't shake this feeling that Ole Miss is not that good, and LSU is only favored by two and a half against them. Is LSU an appreciably different team than Alabama, like quality wise? No, no. I like. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate that. I. I don't hate that pick. You're. You're right that LSU. LSU could easily win by seventeen. Like I think LSU by seventeen is the most logical outcome, and also like the. But dude, like home game, like going on the road is so difficult. Like it's so hard yeah. to like to be a home dog. Like that's so difficult to do. So yeah, I I'm staying away. But I mean, I I'm seeing what you're seeing too. I kind of feel like this line would be bigger if LSU had not kind of escaped in a big rivalry game against Arkansas, who always plays them tight for some reason. Right. So maybe right. they're being slightly undervalued. I bet. Any thought on Missouri? favored by 13 and a half on the road at Vandy. Vandy has not been mm. good after starting out two and zero. they have really, really struggled. Um, they're yeah. Two and three now Missouri's good. Missouri's won four straight undefeated. There's not going to be many Vandy fans might be more Missouri fans than Vandy fans. Anything there. Maybe. I don't hate that. I wouldn't join you on it. That's probably the right side, but you also have to consider that this might be one of Vanderbilt's last chances to get a win this year. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. We'll stay away from it. I'm done. All right. 